Well, hello there, everybody. It's me, Paddy, from Across the Shuck. And uh, I'm doing a wee video tonight. This is a response to Slicey Dicey, who has a great channel. I've mentioned him before mine a few times. If you're not subscribed, please go over and have a check of his channel and uh, see what you think of it. I think it's a great channel. He has a good selection of knives and a good knowledge of the knives that he has. So, what his tag was, as you can see in the title, is you've lost all your knives and you only have $500 to replace them and you're you want to replace them with about five to six knives is what he was saying which is fair enough that gives us a bit of a an opportunity to, to think and choose wisely what we're going to spend that five hundred dollars was now i think he's going to do more different priced ones but this is the first and this is a good one let me tell you this makes you think so what i've done i've got my i've chosen six so I'll go through them one at a time, give you a brief explanation of why I've chosen it. And uh, we'll just go through them quickly. This is not going to be a long video. He says again. Right. Okay, folks, let's get started. This is the first one. Probably no surprise whatsoever. It's my Benchmade 940. The Osborne 940. Absolutely love it. I've only had this a few weeks and already I am completely smitten. It is everything I thought a grill knife would be. I just love it. I can't stop using it. Can't stop putting it in my pocket. Everything else has to fight for time above this. So that's going to be my first. Now, is this knife perfect? No. It's, it's the best EDC knife I have ever had. It You know, it's not brilliant at any one specific thing. But with the shape of the blade, with the length of the blade, with the ergonomics, with the handle, the thinness, it is a perfect EDC knife. And on that, the, one of the best things I found it for is flurry baps. You know, soft, freshly baked baps. It just goes through them better than my bread knife does. And that's the sort of thing I use it for, cardboard. Is it the best cardboard cutter? No, it's not. It's not a deep enough... Uh, blade it's not thin enough but it cuts cardboard up and puts it away well it doesn't put it, i put it away but what i've said is it's just a great adc knife and if i lost this now i would have to get another one come held and i would have to sell somebody to get one it's uh i've just completely smitten so that's the first one that's the benchmade 940 and that cost 183 dollars this had to be $500, I think I said that. So that was $183, and I got these prices from Knife Center. I don't know whether they're good and bad in the States, but they were the one that came up and the one that I used, rather than shopping back and forward. Now, the second one I've chosen, which is maybe a bit strange, is I have chosen a Leatherman. I have this Leatherman Pulse, and this one's twenty year old, over 20 year old. Um, still looks as good as the day it was born. Beautiful. It's, it's got a good knife on it. It's got a good diamond file on it, which actually sharp. You can sharpen a knife on that. I have a video on that. If you want to look back, you'll you'll find that. It's on that. But every single tool in it locks. Every single tool, both side locks, which is amazing for a, a, a vintage um, Leatherman. There wasn't many doing that at that stage. So that must have been the top of the range at the time. So Leatherman Pulse. But that's just to... Uh, I wouldn't get that now. They don't make it now. So I, I, I priced the Leatherman Wave, which was $90. Again, these are just the prices from that shop. <coughs> Excuse me. The prices from that shop, I'm sure if you tried, you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere. Now... I got that because you can use that for anything and everything. I use that constantly. Now, my third choice is a Bushcraft Black. Now, I don't have a Bushcraft Black, but I've got a my Mora HQ Robust, or Robust HQ, I should say. I have had this for years. It is battered. But it just sharpens to a razor every time. It's got... I have adapted it and have my own uh, fire steel on it. I have tape there just in case I ever need it so that would be my third choice because that's my it gives me my wood choice for if I'm making fires or whatever I'm going to do that's I'm I, this isn't the sort of what was I going to say I'm sort of treating this as if it was the uh the last day on earth and you had to have all your knives but I was trying to think of everything I do with knives 
and how I would replace them. And this is what I would replace for going into the woods to do anything. So I do want to have that. And I, I, I need that for my for wood processing and whatever. That's that. Next on the list. Next on the list is a knife that a couple of weeks ago, again, I wouldn't have known anything about or wanted to know anything about. But now, and I'm using this as a, just a show and tell. This is a, a cold steel fin wolf. Now, I'm, st I'm putting this in a stand in for a cool steel lawman. The more, when I got this here and, and found out just how good a knife cold steel make, the lawman just seems to be a natural knife to have in a new collection because it's robust. It'll do just about anything. It's not an over the top knife. It's not a big stabby come and kill knife. It's really just a very hard working knife with an amazing lock. So I thought that would be a perfect knife to have, a do everything knife, and you're not going to be frightened of damaging it. Now, the next on the list, which is, a list, this is a little small, what I'm going to say is the pocket knife. This is the Rat 2 D2. Uh, and with this D2 steel blade now, this knife is an invaluable part of anybody's collection, I would say, if you want a small knife that's going to do anything. This you could use for skinning, you can use it for any little task around the camp, should it be cutting a bit of string off the back of your dress or whatever, I don't know. You could, it depends where you were in the woods. This is just a classic, it's it's just out and it's already a classic, if you know what I mean. In, in Aussie 8 it was a classic, in D2 it's just stupendous. Great little blade. Um, this, I said a lot of pocket time, I can tell you too, since I've got it. Lovely little knife. So I thought that would be my nice pocket knife. Let me just open this one up here. I don't like to see it closed. There we go. Now, I that came to... I'll, I'll start off. This was $183. The Leatherman Wave was $90. The Bushcraft Black was $70. The Cold Steel Lawman was $95. The Rat 2, I've put down about $40. And that left me with £22. Or £22. Dollars, I should say, they were all dollar prices. It left me with twenty two dollars to spend to bring it up to the the five hundred dollars, and I know these were twenty dollars when they came out, and I've chosen my Ganzo chopper, uh, the new. This is the Ganzo seven five five, beautiful, beautiful knife, and I, I chose this because it's multitasking. It can do anything because it's a a thin grind. Great chopper, would do for kitchen duties, would do for splitting wood. It'll do for anything around a camp. So I put that in just to fill it up and it wouldn't be my collection without a Ganzo. I have to have a Ganzo somewhere. So I hope, Slicey, you like this. I hope this is what you wanted. Um, not too sure whether you'll like this or not, but for me, if I was going to spend 500 I would have to have a Leatherman of some sort or a multi-tool of some sort. Um, so... I, I like that collection. I have to say, I'm very happy with that. There's nothing that would change at the minute, which is not like me because I'm usually Mr. Indecisive. So there we go. I'll put this up and hopefully, I don't know what slice he's going to do, whether he's going to put them in his library and then we can all go and check other people who put the 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 challenge up, the tag up. Um, but thank you very much for the tag. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this is what you want. Take care. I'm going horse and I need a cup of tea. Goodbye. All the very best to you. Night night.